Hey ladies and gentlemen, it's Professor Williams and today we're going to look at a capital budgeting tool called EAC or Equivalent Annual Cost. So this EAC is the annual cost of owning, operating, and maintaining an asset over its entire life. And firms use this for capital budgeting because it allows a company to compare the cost effectiveness of various assets when those assets have an unequal lifespan. So our decision today is which car to purchase for a delivery service. And we have two choices, a Scion and a Toyota. So the Scion is going to cost us $24,000 to purchase and it's going to have operating cash flows or operating costs of $3,200 a year throughout the vehicle's expected life. And the life expectancy of the Scion is three years. Our other choice is a Toyota Prius. And the Prius is going to cost us $32,500 to purchase and have operating cash flows or annual operating costs of $1,650 a year. The Prius is going to have an expected life of four years. Both cars are going to be worthless at the end of their lives, so they'll have a future value equal to zero because we intend to replace whatever we buy with the same thing when its life runs out, and we'll do that again and again into the foreseeable future. Our business has a cost of capital of 13%, and so what we're going to do is calculate the EAC for the Scion the EAC for the Prius and then select the lower of the two. Alright, so what I've done here is I've simply converted the information from the question into um, project cash flows. So our Scion was going to cost us $24,000 a year and we knew that our annual cost was $3,200 a year and it had a life expectancy of three years. So we have nothing here so the Scion is a three-year project. The Prius was going to cost us $32,500 to start, cost us $1,650 a year to operate, but was going to have a life expectancy of four years. So this is this idea of projects with unequal lives. We're going to calculate the EAC for the Scion first. So here is my cost and my cash flows for the Scion. And so I know in year zero, I'm going to have a negative 24,000 and then my cost or my cash flow in year one is going to be $3,200 and that's going to be the same for all three years. And we have an interest rate or a cost of capital of 13%. We're going to calculate the net present value of these cash flows. All right, so here I am with my BA2 plus and I'm going to use this cash flow function. So I'm going to select cash flow. My cash flow in year one is a $24,000 cash flow. That's a negative and now I'm going to say enter arrow down. So cash flow in year one is going to be my $3,200 cost and that's a negative. I'm going to say enter and down and now it wants to know what is the frequency of that cash flow and in this case it's going to be three years. So I'm going to hit three and then enter. What we want, remember, is the net present value of the cash flows. So I'm coming over next to my cash flow key. I'm going to hit NPV. First thing it's going to say is, what's your interest rate? So I was told my cost of capital was 13%. Now I'm going to hit enter and down. And now it's telling me compute NPV so I'm simply going to hit the CPT or compute key and I know that the net present value is $31,555.69. Write that number down somewhere because you're going to need it again in this next step. So now that we have the net present value of those cash flows, I'm going to calculate the payment. And the payment is actually going to be our EAC. In other words, it's the equivalent annual cost of operating this vehicle when we consider the original cash flow out to purchase the vehicle and the annual operating costs. So for this first vehicle, we knew it had a life of three years. So N is three. 
Our cost of capital is 13. That's my IY. The present value is what I just calculated as 31,555.69 is my present value. We were told that the vehicle was going to be worthless in the future. So future value is 0. And now I'm going to compute the payment. And so I know that the equivalent annual cost of operating this vehicle is $13,364.53. I'm going to turn around and do the exact same thing for the Toyota. So here I have my cash flows for the Toyota. It shows the 32.5 acquisition at year zero and then four years of cost at $1,650 a year cost of capital is still 13%. So let's calculate this. So I'm going back to my cash flow worksheet and cash flow at year zero. This one costs us 32.5 and that's a negative. And I'm going to hit enter and down. Wants to know what's my first cash flow. My first cash flow is $1,650. That's a negative. And I'm going to hit enter and down. Now I want to know how frequently am I going to have that cash outflow of $1,650. This vehicle had a four-year life. So I'm going to hit four, enter. And now what I need is the net present value of those cash flows. So I can simply hit my NPV key. It's going to prompt me for my interest rate. It's my cost of capital of 13%. Enter, down. And now it's going to say compute NPV. So I need to hit my CPT or compute key. And it's going to tell me that the net present value for that vehicle is $37,407.88. Again, write that number down. You're going to need it when we go to calculate the payment or the actual EAC. All right, so here I am um, getting ready to compute my EAC or my payment. So I'm going to use my regular time value money keys because I'm treating this really as an annuity. And I'm going to say N is 4. That's the life expectancy of the vehicle. My cost of capital or IY is 13%. The present value is what I just calculated. That's that $37,407.88. Is my present value. Remember we said the vehicles were going to be worthless in the future. So future value is zero. And now I want to compute my payment. So the EAC or equivalent annual cost of operating this vehicle is $12,576.31. So now I have an EAC for both vehicles. The Scion is 13,364 and change. The Toyota is 12,576 and change. We will always select the option that has the lowest EAC. So in this case, we will purchase the Toyota with the lower equivalent annual cost. I hope this helped and thanks for watching.